Cause you only live once Have yourself a real good time You only live once Have yourself a real good time Real good Yeah, I grew up listening to a lot of guitar players, rock guitar players, um, and blues guitar players, Jimi Hendrix, and, and then B.B. King, and then eventually more jazz blues guitar players. Uh, but all along I was always working on songwriting, and big fan of James Taylor, big fan of Paul Simon. We were looking to do a live video to capture some of the new music I've been writing, which is a little more rootsy, bluesy, and more of a singer-songwriter. Uh, side as opposed to just instrumental guitar. I, like, I love that he's able to mix the two, you know, and sometimes he'll flip some of the jazz chords into the, the singer-songwriter and then vice versa in the, in the jazz situation as well, so it's great. I think um, as a bassist, I'm able to go from genre to genre, and what I like to do personally is be as authentic as I can in the genre that I'm playing. Yeah, a lot of the music is autobiographical about my journey and some of it's embellished and some of it's about uh, the journey of other people I've met along the way. Uh, being a musician, a songwriter, and one of the most personal songs maybe is Leave My Worries and uh, I started that probably my first song I ever wrote out of college. A little confused on where I was headed in life and being a musician, playing guitar, not knowing really what to do, right? And uh, the song is just about, you know, uh, just, you know, put all that aside and just figure it out. I came up to uh, Long Island and recorded some of the songs that are on his current project. From there, through the magic of the internet, I contributed keyboards from Nashville uh, to, to his project. And now finally, all these years later, we get to play live together again. So I'm really excited. Yes, you only live one. venue, the Ponderosa Barn, came to my attention through a friend who had played here and it just piqued my interest and, and uh, I had connected with the organizer here, Roger, and then we spoke uh, over, over the course of a, a few months and, and finally the gig came into fruition. I uh, originally started to build uh, a barn to play music with friends in my retirement. It was uh, initially going to be a lot smaller and uh, as, as we uh, got started with the process it uh, evolved. It got bigger first and then after it got bigger everything that you did to it became bigger. As we were playing earlier today the acoustics in here are so inspiring. Kind of like playing in a well-designed church. The acoustics really uh, contribute to the performance. I put a lot of work into making this place sound and feel good and take a lot of the guesswork out so that the musicians could just come in and play. You get to really hear everything, feel the warmthness of the band. You know, when you're on a big stage, you know, sometimes it, you lose that. There's so much going on, <laughs> you know, things can get lost in the mix, but here, it's, it's right here. Looking back on every yesterday Watching all my dreams fade away I'm so lucky to have uh, my wonderful band today. Uh, comprised of good friends, people I've met along this journey in music. And we've got Carl Anderson on drums and background vocals. It's just, you're playing from the heart. You know, it's, a, it's that, you have that heart, it's that pulse, keeping that pulse as a drummer. I keep constantly keeping, you know, that pulse is in my heart. Paul Carter on bass guitar. My job is to hold it down. I have to be as solid as possible so that everyone else can fly over that. Uh, Michael Webb on keyboards. We play with heart and uh, still trying to play kind of parts but within a jazz context. And Ronnie Queen on background vocals today. The cool thing about it, we both know what each other can do. But he's trust me on a lot of his projects. He said, hey man, I got this song. These are the words, just do whatever you want to do with them. And I came up and hit a few things and Matt was playing. The next thing I know, I was in Matt's band. <laughs> I'm like, well, how did this happen? <laughs> Love working with Matt. Love working with him. He and his brother Chris came into Nashville and uh, we did a show for Epiphone and uh, we just connected personality-wise and music-wise. Yeah, I met uh, Matt 
2005, I believe. 2005. Yeah. yeah. Over 17 years now. So this new project, this video today, is sort of a culmination of everything. I'm trying to put together um, sort of my guitar influences with my singer-songwriter uh, influences into this production with the, the band that I've become uh, so accustomed to playing with. And this is our live sound, so we're, we're excited to uh, finally capture it 